Hey everybody, Joe Venorni, Cherry the Geek TV. We are here at San Diego Comic Con 2024, uh, talking about the brand new, exciting uh, uh, cartoon network. It's called Me TV Tunes, and we're here with uh, the Me TV Vice Chairman Neil Saban. Uh, talk to us about this. Uh, I'm so excited to talk to you because uh, uh, tell us all about this channel, Me TV Tunes. What are some of the programs that people can see on them, and what differentiates Me TV Tunes from things that have come before, like Boomerang and the Cartoon sure. Network? Wow. I got three minutes to do all that. First, I'm going to ask you a question. What's your, who's your favorite cartoon character? Oh, I'd have to say, the, well, the Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone. Okay. Everybody has a favorite cartoon character. And when you thought about Fred Flintstone, first of all, you had to think a lot because there's so many you like. And second of all, it made you feel good, right? Which is what our network is all about. This tune network is to bring good feelings to people of all ages and we're different in this respect. We have such a wide variety of classic cartoons and only classic cartoons. Everything is from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, a couple of 90s things, a couple of maybe from the 2000s at the very end of our, our spectrum, but it's about being multi-studio, so we have things from almost every studio, and having more than 40 different cartoons every week. And we have hundreds in our library. So it's more variety than anyone's ever had. And it's free. It's free over the air. If you go to MeTVTunes, T-O-O-N-S dot com, hit where to watch and you'll find out how you can see it for free with an antenna or on a streaming service or um, on some cable services. One of the things that's uh, exciting to me about this channel is it seems like there's a, a, a love of cartoons from the people involved and it seems like there's a, a sense of curation that you guys are kind of uh, pro scheduling things with the audience in mind uh, and, and, and grouping things together. And you're doing specials as well, yes. original specials. One's coming up this Saturday, uh, July 27th. It's Bugs Bunny's 84th birthday. You're going to have an all-day celebration, including an original documentary. Talk about this uh, event. Oh, you just did a great <laughs> job of doing it for me. You, you're great. You should do this for a living. Um, so... We did this one-hour special that we're going to run five times during about an 18-hour period. And in between, seeing all about Bugs Bunny with voices and historians and people talking about it and great clips from Bugs, you will see literally almost every Bugs Bunny cartoon made during the day. Those are the kinds of things that set us aside, that differentiate us. We'll do more of those things. We've only been on the air six weeks, and we've all slept about six hours since we put it on the air. But we're having the time of our lives. We do love it. Like you can tell, there is curation. I started my career in fifth grade showing cartoons for kids' birthday parties and figuring out what order to put them in. And here we are a million years later, and I'm still doing it for a much bigger audience and hoping that people understand that we're showing a wide variety of things to get people exposed to so many wonderful, timeless cartoons. Can you tease some of the ideas you have for possible specials uh, coming down the road? Um, well, I'll tell you something that's very special that's coming this fall. We worked really hard to get it, and I think that Comic-Con audience will be very interested in this. The Super Friends series is coming to Me TV Tunes this fall. We're just telling people about that's, that. Now. That's awesome. That's a big deal. Why do you think it's important for uh, cartoons, classic cartoons from all these different eras to be uh, uh, curated and viewed by new audiences uh, as well as old audiences? Well, we think that classic American animation is a, an art form, an American art form that has been kind of um, underexposed, not respected the way it should be, not appreciated the way it should be. And we're here to show it off and to get people to, to love it and to enjoy it and to understand that animation is art. This is an art form and it's a legitimate art form and it is funny and so much of, of our popular culture came out of these cartoons or is reflected in these cartoons. And these characters are forever. Well, you can see all of these great cartoons on Me TV Tunes. Uh, stay tuned to uh, Cherry the Geek TV for more coverage from San Diego Comic Con 2024.